Welcome, this is Frontier Container Fabricators. My name is Steven Karume. And I'll be taking you through this 20 feet container which has been modified into that is the rear side uh, and the front side. I'll come as I take you through. As you will appreciate, 20 feet container is quite a tiny space. So we will try as much as possible to conserve and maximize space usage to make sure that we get uh, the maximum out of it. Uh, this is the washroom just next to the sitting space. As you can see, we have done a sli uh, an aluminium sliding door to conserve our space. As you know, a swing door would take either a lot of space into the washroom or into the sitting space. So we've used um, an aluminium uh, sliding to serve that purpose. From there you can see that is the sitting area with an open, uh, open plant kitchenette, uh, all done to clients needs and specification normally give our clients a chance to select whatever combination of tiles colors and uh, other materials as much as possible that is the washroom with the tiled floor tiled walls uh, close copper toilet a hand wash basin, another washroom accessories as you can see. Uh, on the ceiling is a gypsum ceiling with a, with a ceiling lighting, you can see. On the door as I said, we have preferred an aluminium sliding one so that you're able to conserve our space as much as possible that is the washroom all down to plant and specification and you will notice that the glass that we've used is frost so you're not able to see uh, from the washroom you're not, you're not able to see outside and whoever is in the sitting space or the kitchen is not able to see into the washroom for privacy purposes. Next is uh, from this angle, this is the sitting area. And as I said earlier, it is open to an open plan kitchenette. And it is well lit with natural lighting. That's a window on that side, and another window on that side, and as you'll also notice, worth noting, is that we have installed a mosquito net. Make sure even if you are in a, a mosquito vested area, you're not to be affected by the mosquitoes, they will not be able to gain entry into your house. In the kitchenette, we have a cook uh, unit there. As you can see, this provision we've done for a small TV. So we've done uh, a double socket and an aerial, aerial outlet there. And as you can see, the, wall, the walls are purely nicely done with gypsum, cladded with gypsum. And beneath the gypsum we have done 20mm polyethylene for insulation purposes. To make sure that the internal environment is maintained at room temperature at all time. Because as you, as you may be aware, 
that containers can be unbearable if not uh, insulated and for that purpose we've done uh, 20 mm polyethylene to make sure that the container is habitable uh, enough lighting ceiling lightings those are down lighters enough to light this uh, sitting area next is the bedroom and as we've done on the washroom we have also preferred uh, a sliding door for the bedroom mainly because of the space issue as I said earlier because 20 feet uh, it can be very squeezed so we cannot afford to lose even a millimeter of it that's it this is the bedroom which is roughly seven and a half square feet and it's able to fit um, to a maximum of six by six or to get some more space you can use five by six bed that's it has a small wardrobe there, mini wardrobe, which is a high level one, so that the bed can slide all the way close to the door uh, and still have the wardrobe uh, fitted in your bedroom. And as you can see, the issue of space is key. And when you're doing this um, bedroom, we have utilized uh, this aluminium sliding to slide beneath the uh, behind the cabinet to make sure we can have that space can be used for both cabinet and the door sliding behind it uh, as you can see this place is well lit with uh, a 1.2 millimeter square window aluminium sliding window and as I said in the other room, we have also installed a mosquito net to make sure that no insects or mosquito will be able to get into your space. On the ceiling, we have four down lighters. Make sure that there is enough lighting as well. And a bedside double socket. Sure that you're able to have an outlet to power uh, beside your bed. Another space conservation feature that we have utilized is that, uh, as you will notice, that door, that the doors to the wardrobe, instead of doing two. Uh, 600 uh, mm each we've split it into four so that the doors are really short and cannot uh, will not be uh, taking too much space of your bedroom the doors are quite short as you can see the wardrobe uh, has got a chrome pipe to hang long clothes and uh, a shelving where you can put your accessories and as I said the colors the choice of tiles choice of cabinet location and um, the color of the MDFs most of these things have been uh, dictated by the client and obviously we also advise so that we make sure that the, the, the client specification and the preferences are taken care of without losing our main focus on space and elegance that's our house 
able to live uh, in it comfortably. And for this, it's good for site accommodation. Um, um, staff accommodation for companies. In the villages uh, and up country. And even here in the urban areas. Uh, if you have a teenage, teenage um, teenager whom you would want to accommodate so it is separately probably after form four after high school if your house is not big enough you can pick this one for them and they will be very happy in it thank you for watching